You can see all these guys. Yeah, I can see all these nice guys over there. Yeah. Hi. Hi, big boy. What's going on, my friends? Oh, uh, much. How about you? I'm I'm pretty fine. Thank you. Uh, oh, great. Oh, so you, you are living in Burlington? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Do you all understand anything in Spanish? Yeah, Just a little, little bit. Hola, ¿cómo está? Muy bien. Hola. Vamos. 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 Let's go. Come in. I just get over. Hi. Um, my name is Bonifaz. I'm with uh, Olivier and Jeremiah. We'll be okay. interviewing Dixie and hi. Uh, also, we'll be asking you a couple of questions if that's okay with you. Great, great. Yeah, you can ask all the questions you all want, okay? All right. Uh, we'll start with uh, where do you live? Okay, um, I live in Nicaragua. You know, uh, there's a place on the east coast of Nicaragua named Puerto Cabezas. It'd be like Port Head, you know, in, in Spanish, maybe. Puerto Cabeza. So I live in this community here in Puerto Cabeza, where there is like a uh, hundred thousand people live here, you know, oh. and uh, and they have different different um, indigenous groups that live. We have the Miskitos, which, which is an indigenous group. Then we have the what we call the Afro descendants, you know, which is the Creole people and the Garifonas. Then we have the Spanish speaking people that speak in Spanish. So you know, it is is a multicultural community where, where I live. You know, and then um, they have the big ocean. It's on the Caribbean coast, anyhow, on the Caribbean coast. So we have the ocean in front, the big ocean in front, and um, um, it, this this place is um, almost everyone knows one another because you know we meet them at the supermarket, we meet them in the park, at the baseball field, um, and um, this Puerto Cabeza is is a, is a sister city with 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 Burlington. You know, it's a, you know have a long history of you know building up and constructing this um, sister city program. So we had in the past we had a lot of exchange with with Burlington. You know, they had a baseball team went from Puerto Cabeza to Burlington. You know, to play baseball with the kids in Burlington. You know, and that was something. Then we have artists that goes over there, you know, to see cultural songs and, and you know, different, you know, different groups. So uh, it, it, it's a nice place. So I really invite you all someday to come down here. So, you know, you all really look, you all really look like some people from Puerto Cabeza. If you all comes to Puerto Cabeza, then someone will go up to you and talk in mosquito, thinking that you are a mosquito, you know, <laughs> or, 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 or maybe someone would go and talk to you in Creole. Hey, brother, what's going on? Hey, how, how things going, brother? Nice, cool, nice. You know, that's that's Creole, you know? You know, so, you know, um, it's great to see you all then this afternoon, definitely. Yeah, we'll see you too. Yeah. Uh, um, so how how is the weather like? Is there snow in uh, Puerto Cabeza? Okay, in Puerto Cabeza is two, two weather we got. We have it, it's from the from January, February, January, February, March, April is when is they have the sun. It's sunny, really hot, a lot, you know, strong suns, and you know, it's 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 really hot. May month, May, June, July, August, November, it is a lot of rain. It's rain. So we only have we have two two um, um station, I would say. It's sunny and, and rain, you know. So you know, it's nice because um, when it's too hot, you know, we, 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 someone's called for the rain, some kind of way, and the rain just comes, you understand? So at this moment, we have rain. It's raining right, right now, but um, is, there is no snow. No, you know, we don't have snow. It's just tropical, you know, this is tropical. So it's, um, it's just, it's two season, raining season and hot season, we call it, you know, that's, that's it, yeah. Yeah, that that reminds me of a lot of uh, where we come from. Uh, in Tanzania, we also have only um, rain and summer pretty much. So that's really cool.
Oh, that's great. That's yeah. great. Yeah. So yeah, I come yeah, I come from from Tanzania. Sorry. Yeah, me and this guy we come from Tanzania and he comes from Malawi. Yeah. Oh, okay, great, great, great. Yeah. yeah. But okay. Can you tell us about like the, um, the history of the city or okay. the country in general? Okay, I mean the history of Puerto Cabeza goes away back, away back, you know. Um there, there was a time when the the British, the British people that had the Caribbean coast colonized, was colonized by the British. It's not, uh, not by the Spanish people. The Spanish people colonized the west coast of Nicaragua. But here on the east coast was the, was the British. The, you know, the um, British people, they, they, they are the one who colonized us. And the way of um, colonization of the British was different and the Spanish people. The Spanish people was much more violent. You know, they, you know, they killed a lot of people and they, they, uh, they didn't allow the, the people on the West Coast to speak their own language. You know, they, um, you know, they obligate them to speak Spanish. They teach them to speak Spanish. Here on the Caribbean coast, the British people didn't do that. They, you know, they, they come and they, you know, they, you know, they, they, they create a commercial relationship with the people from the, from the coast. So um, that's why um, a lot of groups like the indigenous groups, the Miskito indigenous, they, they maintain their language. Um, um, the Garifonas, which is another um, Afro-descendants group here, they maintain their language because it, they, they, didn't, they didn't have an, a lot of violence yeah, in the way of um, colonizing. So that is, that is part, that is, that is one phase of our history, you know? And then there, uh, we, uh, we have another st uh, stage, stage where it is a long um, conflict with, between the West Coast of Nicaragua and the Caribbean coast, because the Spanish people from the, from the West Coast of Nicaragua, they want, af after the British, the British people went, because they, they you know the British people went the west the west coast of Nicaragua people they want to colonize us you know they want us, us to talk Spanish only also and things like that so that's why a lot of people from the coast um, start to claim for the autonomy you know they wanted to go got the self government you know self government and this um this claim was went on for for. This claim went out for a lot of years, and, uh, and finally, uh, after after a conflict, uh, they had a civil war in the Caribbean coast. Um, after that civil war, um, they recognized that the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua is is a multi ethnic society, and they have right for their self government, and they have right to um, to talk their own language, to talk their own. Um, um, to have their own way of seeing their their life and stuff like that. So so you know we that is that is what we this part of Nicaragua we belong to Nicaragua. All of us belong to Nicaragua, but we are living a autonomy. We under a, a autonomous law, and the autonomy is what it means is that it gives us your right to organize or or according to our tradition and to speak our own um, our own language. Um, to, to de develop our own um, economical um, program. This is something that we are still struggling, but we're, we're, we are still there. Okay, in those times, they didn't have university here in the Caribbean coast. Most of the universities was in the West coast, in the Pacific coast of Nicaragua. So when someone like come out of, of secondary school and want go, it was really hard to go to a university because the West, the West Coast had a total different culture on the East Coast people. So anytime when we go to the West Coast, it was a big problem because they, they used to talk Spanish and many of us didn't know much to talk Spanish and, and it was hard. So not much people had, had the opportunity to study at that time, you know? But in, in this moment, thanks for the autonomy process, we have two universities in the, in the Caribbean coast. We have Huracan, which means the, the University of the uh, Caribbean coast. And then we have, uh, we have another university by the name Abiku, which means Black, Indian, and Caribbean University. And in these universities, especially in the university where I go, 
we have uh, the students them have the right to start with their own language in class. You know, one can um, you know uh, discriminate them to talk in their own language. So in, in the in, in this in the section of school, you hear people talking Miskito, you hear people talking Creole, you hear talking Spanish, and all of them have the right to do it. You know, so that 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 is that is something what we conquered with the autonomy process, and. Um, in the in the village, they have they had a lot of village around here where the indigenous people live, and the indigenous people have their own right to organize their social organization according to their traditional way of doing it. So we have this, we have the a leader that we call in Wita. Wita is the Wita is is an is the one who who administrate justice in the community. And then they have a Wita, it's like a judge, you know, but it's Wita. But the way how they administrate um, justice in the community is total different, and the way how um, the um, the West Coast do it. Because here, um, you know, the um, if someone do anything that is not right in the community, they, I mean, they have to go to the judge, and the judge don't have like a building, you know, with all this chair in front, I know the judge is walking in the community, goes to people's house, talk to people, and 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 administrate justice in that way. You know, so mm -hmm. so you know they you know they have their own traditional way of doing this. You know, that is what in 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 the in the village there, in, and in Puerto Cabeza, you have two areas. They have um, in, um, a community. Uh, um, Urban area where is where is like is the city, the little city, and then they have a lot of different community village that we call indigenous village around it, around it, you know. So in the city, in the city is like almost eighty thousand people live, you know, in the city. But when I say city, I don't mean that we when we see a lot of big building out of concrete and no. Here the houses, most of the houses out of wood, is out of woods and you know and um. You know, so the people live simple here, and 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 you know they they, they try to enjoy life, and um, taking advantage of the nature that around them. You know, um, the the sea. People go to the sea, go catch fish. They go catch shrimps, catch lobster. Uh, you know, so a lot of people work on the ocean, but then they have a group of people also that work with them agriculture. Um, you know, producing producing um different food for for self-sustainable okay yeah mm -hmm. that's well that's a lot of history but i was gonna ask you like uh since you've been here in burlington before like do you notice any difference or similar uh, like are they kind of the same in like a way or is it super different uh yeah, it's it's different. It, I mean, it's different, you know. Burlington, uh, but I mean, Burlington is a small little bit, um, city, you know. That's what I get to like Burlington because it's small. But um, people over here, I don't know, maybe maybe because the sun is hot, people are here is much more, you know, you know, more like yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 you know, like they, they will they will show you on the street, you know, like I, is, is someone see me on the street walking, they say they will show, hey, Dixie, what's going on, brother? <laughs> you know, it's like you know, and and you know, it's it's a lot of noise here, a lot of music go on, so you know, a lot of you know, people are you know more like you know, in Burlington, in Burlington is much like more silence, more <laughs> lazy people, yeah. nobody talk, right? yeah, no, nobody talk loud, and and when it's snowing, you get more silence, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, yeah. Really sad, yeah. <laughs> Everybody gets, you know, I mean, that's, that is, you know, but I mean, they have nice people over there also, you understand, but or here our people is much more like, and the way how our people speak and talk, we will say that they are fighting between one, but we are, we are not fighting, that's the way we talk, you know, we say, hey brother, what's going on, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, where are you going, come man, come, come, come man, let's go play basketball man, you know, and, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, so, you know, that's, you know, we are much more like, you know, Extrovertido, we call that in Spanish. I don't know, but you know. Yeah. But um, um, in Burlington, people are you know much more silent, much more polite. They will say yeah. hi, good morning, yeah. good morning, you know, you know stuff. So, so you know that that that's what may be the 
the difference maybe. But I mean, Bloomington is a nice place. Everything looks like it's really organized. And here we don't have things much organized here. You know, here we, anything could happen any minute. You understand? I mean, there's no crime here, no big crime and stuff go on. You understand? Got it's it. just like, you know, um, here you and know, here, yeah. things happen. Yeah. What was your favorite things when you were here? Like, yeah, something you did. Um, right. eh, eh, make I say, I, I went that that time when I went. the The mayor name was Peter Claven, Peter, mm -hmm. and Peter eh, he had a skiff, and he one he invite me and take me to give a you know to to a, a tour on his skiff. So both of us went out. We went on the dock and we get in his skiff, and um um. Afterward, you know, Peter went out on the lake. There's a big lake, right? Mm -hmm. okay, there, okay. So I, P, Peter and I was, um, uh, we were like, you know, doing a little tour on, on his skip. And then just in a, a, few, a, few, a few minutes, or I, I would say a few minutes, I just heard like a siren was coming. Wah, wah. <laughs> when, uh, when I look, I saw is that was a uh, like the police was police on the boat, you know. So I just so I said, "What's going on, Peter?" I mean, this is what. So the police came and asked Peter for some his paper, you know, his you know his license and his oh, you know okay. stuff like that. And then um, Peter giving his license, but look like something wasn't good there. Something was was like you know. So the police said, "No, some paper were I don't know what you know, but it's the police telling that you have to get going back to the dike. You understand?" And um, P Peter said, oh, okay, all right, okay. We, so Peter told me, he said, let's go in because, you know, and stuff like that. That not happening in Puerto Cabeza. Peter is the mayor. I mean, here, no police will come and tell the mayor what to do. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. So that was something like, it really impact me because I said, well, I mean, it's a, it's a way what I see that they follow rules, you understand? Mm -hmm, yeah. it's, it's, uh, which is good in a society to follow rules. You know, here, here, the, you know, police would say, okay, you don't, you didn't have this paper in, you know, you need to, you know, okay, the, uh, the mayor may tell the police, I will do it when I go in someday, don't worry, you understand, and yeah, stuff like that. So, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's totally different, you know, and stuff like that. The other thing what surprised me, um, one, one afternoon we went up to a restaurant there to go eat this um, lobster, I think it was a lobster and crab restaurant, I, I did, and we were there, but, I mean, as a group of us was there, and uh, when they shared me my 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 soup or my plate with with this with this lobster or something, I tried to taste it. But when I taste it, it was like seemed like it didn't need some salt. It didn't need some salt. <laughs> so, so I I called the I called the waitress and I told I I told her I need to you know we need more salt in this thing. Come on. So she you know she 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 brought the salt to me and then she tell me don't worry I'm not she not going to charge me for that that food you know. And I said, why? <laughs> uh, yeah, I said, why? She said, oh, she said, you know, it's, that, that's it, you know, I'm not going to charge you, you know. Basically. So in, in my mind, I said, well, I should go every day and say that you, you don't have enough salt. So maybe I could get, you know, <laughs> could I get some, you know, but things are, you know, so, you know, it, it was great. It was, it was, it was really interested being there in, in, in Burlington. Yeah. It sounds like you had a great time here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Well, so what uh, what do you do in uh, in in your place? Okay, I, I, there are two things I do here. One, um, you know, we still have this sister city program going on between Burlington and Puerto Cabeza. So I'm I'm like 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 someone who try to connect our people also, you know, to to the sister city, you know, because uh, there there was a time when the sister city program was bit, was was from mayor to mayor you know the mayor from Burlington to the, ma the, ma the mayor in Puerto Cabeza but no it's different it's from people to people you know uh, so so we try to connect like we really would like to connect is Juárez uh, say a secondary school there in Burlington yeah Ayabi Langston or secondary so how we can do to connect a secondary school here so you all can have this interact with them you understand okay. like mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. nice. yeah like like someone that in this in um in the same grade where you are you know the, you know get people from here so they can connect with you all and talk to you all you all can exchange video maybe you can take with your phone you can take a little video of your house or anything send it over to over here and our student will you know send it also what they do here so you all can see the type of houses here how the yards how people is and you know and stuff like that 
Okay, I that is one thing I do here. Try to, you know, try to keep up, you know, keep up that sister city program. The other thing, I, I belong to a university. Um, I'm a professor of the university also. I am the university of Huracan, you know. Uh, and what I did there, uh, 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 being a professor, but also I'm coordinate all this um, community extension program that the university had. The university have a program that have to do with community extension. So I, I go as a lot to the village, talk with the leaders, indigenous leaders, talk with cruel people, the Afro-descendants people, and try to help the Afro-descendants people, help the indigenous people to, 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 to strengthen their, their, their social organization. So we, from the university, we, we try to bring in some technical way of doing the things so they can, you know, and stuff like that. And I really love my job because I'm not there sitting down in my office eight hours a day. You know, I just get in like, just go in my office and I just punch on the clock with my finger and then I come out in the, in the communities, go around, you understand? Yeah. So, you know, uh, is, and that's why there's a lot of people know me here in Puerto Cabeza and we have been working with young people. We working with all leaders, leaders with women groups and, um, we also we work with some people that had problem with drugs addiction also because we has that in our community also you know a lot of young people are you know um, taking drugs and stuff like that so we have a special program to try to help them you understand to give them other option make them play sport make they make they make the you know paint or and um, play guitars play uh um, you know and, and stuff like that yeah nice oh uh, yeah uh, so uh before bounty and polka bases became uh uh sister series how how did uh they connect to become sister series okay uh we as you all remember when I was talking a little about the history, we had a civil war here, right? A civil war here in the Caribbean mm -hmm. coast. Uh, and that war goes, went on, a lot of people was dying. And then um, 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 during that war, um, um, they didn't have a lot of foods and a lot, a lot of clothes and everything had been getting, you know. And um, there, was a, there was a ship a boat back up here on the Caribbean coast and the coast here with, 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 with people from Burlington, you know, the first people from Burlington came down and the war what we had here was like, um, 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 there was the American government, some kind of way, you know, helping, trying to overthrow one government here with Sandinista government. And then a lot of people from Burlington didn't agree with that, they, you know, they, they, you know, so, they came here to try to help us and okay you know precisely the war was on the in the whole nicaragua but burlington precisely um, determined that they wanted to come to puerto cabeza you know and they came here and they you know they bring they bring foods they bring um, clothing they bring different um, aids here different um, you know for, for the people them and things like that and they, 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 they meet with the mayor from here, Puerto Cabeza. The mayor went to the to the dock and received them. And then that's how this whole thing started like that, you know. And then, you know, um, that's, um, and um, uh, Burlington always were willing to help the people from Puerto Cabeza, you know. And Puerto Cabeza was um, really, um, uh, they're really grateful for that, you know, really thanks for Burlington and, 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 and and things go on, things went on. You no, know, they went forward, you know, more more and just only giving stuff, but also constructing and strengthening culture and strengthening friendships and relationship in the two the two cities, you know, in Burlington and Puerto Cabeza. So I mean, it's like it started in the '80s, so you can imagine, you know, how long this thing going on. You know, you understand? You know, it started like in the '80s, and now, who is you know, we are. We are older, we have older brother, younger, you know, in this whole sister city program, you know, yeah. So like, yeah. before we wrap up, do you guys have any questions to ask? Uh, uh, nice to meet you, man. Uh, Hi, great, great, this great. This conversation was lovely, we loved it. <laughs> and also- Hey, you, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are, you are looking like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was awesome, yeah. it was awesome.
Okay, so so you all can say um, goodbye in your language. Yeah, Kwaeri. 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 So, um, all do you right. have any questions that you want to ask us before we close the conversation? Oh, sure, exactly. I mean, how when, how comes you come from Tanzania, from a women, a widow to Burlington? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. How, how, how uh, we were in a refugee camp, uh, so <laughs> oh, much, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 long story, <laughs> <laughs> long story, yeah, yeah. another history, <laughs> that's, another, that's another history, yeah. And do you all like you love Burlington? Yeah, it's nice, it's, it's cold. I love the weather, <laughs> I don't know, <love laughs> yeah. but school is nice here, yeah, okay, nice. yeah, yeah. everything's nice, yeah. just snow, just snow, yeah, just snow. Oh, okay. No, no, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so do you ask, do I play any sport? Any yeah, sport? Any sport? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do cross country running and I do skiing during the winter. Cross country. Oh, and okay. I play like football. Football. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. yeah so. You mean? <laughs> you <laughs> you <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> All right. That, no, that's great. I mean, they play a lot of young, a lot of young kids here. I mean, play a lot of sport here. You know, they play yeah, yes. football, the baseball, you know, and softball, volleyball. They had a big tournament um three days ago here. Big volleyball tournament. You know. When they bring them, they they bring all of these um players from the different village and the different you know bring them here to Puerto Cabeza. So they had like a week, you know, with all these visitors here playing um, volleyball and um football also playing football also you know so it was nice you know having all these and all these students them here from from secondary most of them are from was from secondary you know and they were here in Puerto Cabeza yeah so many similarities. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And we hope in the near future we'll be able to have the same conversation because we love this conversation. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. As I, as I said before, I mean, I, I, I can connect. Maybe I will talk to Megan and send some, you know, um, to Megan that we can connect some schools, you know, mm -hmm. so we can get, you can get these kids that in your age. So they, you know, you can talk with them and, you know, I could bring yeah, them, you know, mean, so we can, you know, just that'll be great. Have yeah. This yeah, we can come over and stuff. Yeah, we can come over too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you come over. Oh yeah, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here, 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 we, uh, all right. Hey, here we have a big, big party that's going on in the month of May. We call oh, it oh, May. We, yeah, we got. We call it May Pool. Ooh, wow, amazing. don't worry, Make, Megan will bring us. Amazing. Okay, <laughs> okay. Us, yeah. yeah, you have to come to see the see Maypole because Maypole is from the Afro descendants culture, mm. you know. Yeah, they have well, they have this tree that they plant in the middle of the street and they, they put fruits around it and they dance around it. Dance <laughs> nice heavy music around it. And uh, when they dance, it's because they, yeah, it's, it's to call the call the rain, the rain could come down. You know, you saw it. Love dancing. Oh, you love okay. Love dancing, yeah. Don't okay. get me started. Hey, okay. We're gonna start right now. Uh, yeah. Okay. You maybe you can come and dance maple yeah, here. Yeah, he's oh, gonna yeah. dance for you. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's that's great. That was something. That's good. That's yeah, great. Thank you. Say, uh, make it. Yeah. Make it on a safe bye. I'll take it Sure. Hi, Dixie. Thank you so much. So uh, we'll get in touch about maybe meeting with some students too. Definitely. I think that so would be great. Too. You know, getting yeah. students. Yeah. yeah. So they can right. meet with them. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, we'll visit May. So yeah. May, we got to wait for COVID to, you know, we got to wait sure. for the COVID numbers. Sure. You didn't talk about that. that you guys, what, you're a 4% vaccination rate? It was 4% a couple of weeks ago. Now it's went it? up a little oh, more. Wow. Yeah, 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 right? it's, yeah, yeah. We're, it's at, no, we're at 90% yeah. here. 90% oh, right now. Oh, right yeah, now. yeah, 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 yeah. If we could we're, ship our extra vaccines to you, we oh. would. Yeah, that would be great. That <laughs> so would be great. for them to get it? Or? it yeah. It's hard to, yeah, here it's different. It's, 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 um, it's not easy to get the vaccine, you know? Yeah. Yeah, someone said that in the, in the, in the first countries, the the vaccine is chasing the people them you yeah. know but in our in, in our country we are chasing the vaccine that's a really good different. analogy yeah that makes sense yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah yeah all right all right thanks okay Thank you so much okay see you all bro see you. until we meet again yeah Till we meet again definitely <laughs> till we meet again yeah in mosquito they will say Kree kli wal prawaya 
Prawaya. Grewal Prawaya. Yeah, I was there. Till we meet again. Yeah, till we meet again. Yeah. In Swahili, we say Kwaheri. Kwaheri. Okay, Kwaheri. Kwaheri. Okay. Great. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Good to see.